what's up everyone? Welcome back. Today we have for you some really exciting DIYs that you're going to love. I think we can all agree that there is something so special about receiving and gifting a gift handmade by a loved one. This first handmade gift idea is one using scrap wood. You know that I love using scrap wood and I'm going to take this piece of board that I found in my garage. A lot of times I get them from homes that we flip. Sometimes I get them at the hardware store. They have a uh, scrap wood area that I find pieces very inexpensively. So I found this one. It was already this size and I thought it would make a great tray for serving purposes. I also grab this one by three board and I cut it to the same width as the board. I'm going to place them on each end after I sanded them down and dusted them. I'm going to attach them using some wood glue and some brad nails. And then I did the same exact thing on the other side using wood glue and brad nails. And then it took some wood filler and I'm just going to fill in those little holes that the brad nails left. That way it has a nice smooth finish on top. I let it dry and I'm going to sand it smooth. Then I'm going to give it a two coats over Stolium Chalked Man in the linen white and I'm going to do the top and the bottom. I am then going to take a reusable stencil that I have here at home and I've used several times on my projects. This one says no place like home and I'm just going to start stenciling using Waverly Chalk Pen in the ink which is a very dark black and a makeup sponge and I'm just going to dab 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 going upwards and downwards. Having very little paint on my sponge creates very little bleed through. Once it was dry, I am going to then take a dry brush with a little bit of gray paint on it. And I'm just going to start just brushing it all around. This is going to create a little bit of a distressed farmhouse look. I sealed everything using Minrax Polycrylic in the Crystal Clear just to make sure everything's sealed and safe for serving. And then I added some handles. These handles I actually got at Hobby Lobby. They're beautiful style. And I'm going to place one on each side. And that's it for this one. Oh, it's gorgeous. Who would not love to get a serving tray like this? I know I would love it. For the next handmade gift idea, I am going to take this piece of one or two by six, actually. I'm going to sand it down very nicely and then dust it very well. It's about 12 to 13 inches long. I'm going to give it a two coats of Rust-Oleum Chalked Pen in the linen white. And of course, we're going to let it fully dry. Using my Cricut, I cut out a stencil that says, let's get cooking. And I'm just going to place it right towards the left side of the board. This is going to be a hanging hook for an apron for anybody who loves to cook. I know many women in my life who would love to get this gift. I'm just going to stencil it once again using the Waverly Chalk Pen in the ink and a makeup sponge. Once I remove the entire stencil, we have a nice design and then we are going to attach two sawtooth hooks to the back using my hammer and this is just going to make sure that we can hang it on the wall. And then we're going to add a hook. This hook I also got at Hobby Lobby. They have some beautiful, beautiful styles. I'm just going to place it with some screws and that's it for this one. What a beautiful gift to give somebody, especially that one person that just loves to cook. It's definitely one of my favorites from today. Storm is on its way, but as long as you're around. For this next handmade gift idea is using scrap pieces of one by threes and then one little piece of this kind of like a square dowel. One piece is six inches long. The other one is about three or four inches long. And then this one is just the length or the width of the piece. I'm going to attach everything using some wood glue and my brad nailer. And I'm just going to attach them together, kind of making the shape of an L. What we're creating here is a phone holder. This would be a great gift idea for anyone in your family who has a cell phone and 
who doesn't, especially for the kitchen or an office where you need to sometimes just put your phone down, but still have access to it. I love it. Once everything was placed together, I'm just going to give everything a fresh coat of Rustoleum Chalkman and the Linen White. And this one's going to be for my husband, so I just cut out his name using my Cricut, and I'm just going to place it there vertically, and I think it's so adorable. Tell me this would not make the best gift ever. the next handmade gift idea we're going to take another one of those one by fours and we are going to cut them into four inches we're going to make some handmade coasters really easy very inexpensive a one by four you can find at the at the hardware store and if you do not have a miter saw you can definitely have them cut up for you i cut out a stencil with our initial for our home our last name it starts with a c and then i'm just going to remove the stencil i did stenciling with a beautiful blue color by waverly and a makeup sponge I sealed everything with a polycrylic by Minwax just to make sure that it's going to be nice and safe for when drinks are placed on top. And that's it for this one. Again, it's such an easy way, such a beautiful gift to make for somebody. I just love the simplicity of it and I think any family or any individual would love it. For the next handmade gift idea, I'm going to take several pieces of wood. This is a one by two and it, these are a one by four. I'm going to have two pieces for each. The longer pieces are about 24 inches long and then the shorter pieces are about 12 inches long. I'm going to use my pocket hole maker. This is a Craig jig and it's really easy to make holes with this machine and it looks intimidating but it's really easy. You can always just attach using popsicle sticks and staples but with pocket holes it's just a lot more secure and sturdy hold. I'm going to make two holes on each side of the boards. These are the thinner longer ones. They're going to be facing the same side but they're going to be on each end just like that. I'll do the same thing on the other board the longer one but we're not going to do it on the shorter ones because these are going to attach to the shorter ones using these screws. These are pocket hole screws that come that you just have to find the right size for and then we're just going to screw it in. It usually separates and then sucks right back in. Really easy. I'll do the same thing until I create a nice frame. Once I have my frame nicely made, I am going to take some crafting chicken wire. I get this on Amazon and I do have on my Amazon store. Now, if you have regular chicken wire, by all means use it, but boy, is it hard on your hands. This is a lot more flexible and manageable and it's just called crafting chicken wire. And I do have on my Amazon store, which is linked below. I'm going to cut off the excess on the edges and then staple it in place, making sure that the entire thing is covered. What we're making today is a sun glass holder. Now, this was made for me because <laughs> I needed one, but I think it would make a great gift for someone who loves sunglasses. So keep that in mind. I'm going to take some foam core from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to hot glue it some strips to the back. This is going to cover all those edges that have all those uh, sharp edges. That way it's not going to ruin my wall when I hang it on the wall. And I'm just going to staple it in place and hot glue it. Once I have that in place, it's time to start giving everything a nice coat of paint. I'm going to use Rust-Oleum, Chalkman, and the Linen White. And I'm going to do the frame as well as dry brush the white on top of the chicken wire. I decided to add some clips to the top of the frame and some hooks to the bottom of the frame just gives me some flexibility on what I can add to this frame maybe like jewelry or scarves or hats the possibilities are endless and this was stunning I love the way this firm turned out I use it every single day I have a like obsession with sunglasses and this was perfect for me and it would make a great thing. For 
the next handmade gift idea, I am going to take this piece of scrap 2 by 4 It's probably about 4 inches long. And then I'm just going to sand it down and wipe it down really, really well. We're going to make a picture block. I printed one of these pictures of my son in the summer in a just black and white regular paper. And I'm just going to cut it to size. Once I have it cut, I'm going to add some Mod Podge onto the board. And we're going to place the picture right on top. Once you place it on top, just make sure that you remove as many bubbles as possible. You do not have to Mod Podge the top. Please don't because we are going to be transferring the picture and we want to remove the paper from the top. I let it dry for several, several hours. And once it was fully dry, I am going to wet it with a rag, making sure that it's nice and wet. And then we're just going to start rubbing that paper off of it. You can use the rag or your fingers until the entire paper layer is off and all you have left is the picture on the board. I'm going to seal everything again with a top coat. This is by Minwax in the Polycrylic Crystal Clear. And I'm just going to do one coat and just going to seal everything in. And this one is such an adorable gift. This would be great for grandparents, for family members, or even for their parents, for a spouse. I think it would just be such a great idea to have several of these in several sizes. What a beautiful gift idea. For the next handmade gift idea, I'm going to make a fun tic-tac-toe board that you can use for traveling. I'm going to use these wood slices and I'm going to take nine of them and I'm going to separate them in a piece of drop cloth. I love using drop cloth. You've probably seen me use it before and I always have them on hand and I do have them on my Amazon store. I'm going to cut off a piece that is twice as long and wide as those pieces of wood that I place on top. Then I'm going to join everything together using hot glue and leaving one side open because we're going to make a little sack for the wood slices. Once I have it nice and secure, I'm going to flip it inside out or outside in <laughs> and making sure that all those ends are nice and poking out. I'm going to place the wood slices right on top and I'm just going to mark just freehand some dots on each row. This is going to give me exactly where I need to draw lines. This is a fabric marker from Artisa, but you can have and use whatever marker you have on hand as long as it's permanent. I'm gonna use my ruler to make them as straight as possible and there's our tic-tac-toe board. Then I'm gonna take half of the wood slices and make O's and the other half I'm gonna make X's and then this is going to be placed right inside. To make it nice and fun and festive, I'm going to tie it with a jute rope and then we're gonna add a little cute Christmas tag because of course this is going to be a gift. So I just want to make it nice and simple. This will be great as a gift for anyone who travels a lot, who has kids, or maybe even an older couple in a retirement home or anyone. It would be such a great gift. For the next handmade gift idea, I'm going to take several of these paint sticks. These are those really large ones. I'm going to take three of each. And then I am going to start marking every three inches because we're going to cut them using my miter saw. If you do not have a miter saw, you can definitely use your miter box that you can find at craft stores or even Amazon. And I do have one on my Amazon store. After I sanded them down nice and smooth, I'm just going to mark the center and make a line because we're making a domino set. Again, another beautiful gift that you can gift a family or kiddos. I think this will be so much fun. I did have to Google like how many pieces a domino set has. <laughs> and to make sure I did not skip any number, but I didn't. It worked out. Using the same permanent marker from earlier, I'm just going to start making all the dots, and then we have all of our pieces. I want to make a little sack for it too. So I'm just going to use this fabric. It's just something I had on hand. It's a plain white fabric, and I'm just going to cut it and hot glue it to what I need. I'm going to leave one side open once again, and once I had it secure, I'm going to flip it outside in. And once again, I do want to make something for the front. So for this one, I am going to just kind of draw a domino piece because I think it will look so cute. But the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. Did you notice that I placed a two and a five for December 25th? <laughs> just a little detail. All right, so now I'm just going to tie it once again like the, the one before with some jute rope. Just a very simple knot. And I'm going to add another tag 
to make it look very festive and of course we can write to and whom it's from again this would be a great gift for family members or just the whole family itself or anyone who just loves games tomorrow it is christmas the first for you and me the snow is falling for the next handmade gift idea, I'm gonna take this piece of board. Again, it was just a scrap piece that I had on hand. If I were to guess, it's about maybe 30 inches long and it's about seven or eight inches wide. Once I painted it roughly with some white chalk paint, I distressed it with my palm sander just to give it a more farmhouse look. I'm gonna drill a couple of holes on the upper each side of the board and I'm gonna screw in a couple of these eye hooks. I get these on Amazon and they're really good to have for crafting. I'm going to take some jute string and I'm going to thread some of these wooden beads right on them. I think I did like maybe about 11 of them or so. Just making sure that it was long enough that what I wanted. I'm just going to tie them onto each eye hook and making sure that each bead kind of lands on top of the board and not the side. So it just hangs nicely and smooth. See what I did there? Making sure that those beads are on top of the board. I did add some nautical rope from Dollar Tree right on top. Just crisscrossed it and secured in the back with some staples just to add a little bit of character and texture. What we're making today is a nice picture frame holder. I am going to place some of these clips. I'm gonna place three of them just down the center all the way to the bottom. That way we can clip the pictures. This will be a great gift for a loved one. And you can even add school pictures if you have kiddos that just had school pictures taken. How fun. All right, you're going to have to let me know which one is your favorite, which one would you love to recreate, and which one just really just blew your mind. Let me know down in the comments. I'm going to have another video here for you with tons more of inspiration for you. Check it out. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love.